G'day, this is Captain Noob and it is Waifu Wednesday. Post your waifus in the comment section below. Here's mine. Anyways, this is the M2A19 flamethrower. It's a very World War II looking flamethrower. If you've seen photos with dudes holding this around, they've got giant tanks of fuel on their backs, but unfortunately we don't have that. That's the fuel canister down there, so it's kind of small, but it works. It just works. Um, we're using combat rifle animations here, so none of it is going to line up properly, but that's fine. This thing is obviously an early weapon and an early concept. Another thing of note about this is it uses actual fire damage to hit things. Um, if you're familiar with Fallout 4 and how it works, there's only two types of main damage that you can get. It's ballistic and energy, that's why um, your flamethrower, even though it shoots fire and it would do fire damage, you'd think it actually does energy damage. This is actually one of the leftover damage things from Skyrim. There's also Frost, which you can get as like Cryo and something else, but that's going a little bit off track. What we want to do is actually customize this thing. So first of all, we can't do anything with the receiver. That's fine. We'll move on from that. You can change the barrel of this as a compression barrel, either short or long, or you can have an upgraded one, which increases the range a little bit, which is pretty good. Now, in terms of what you want to do with a flame, though, it is good to get a little bit of extra damage, but having the best range is probably what you want out of it the best because yeah that damage drop off is going to happen very quickly and you'll suffer in damage um, by 50% if you do nothing you can do with the grips here so we'll move on and for the gas canisters as you can tell us what the magazine is we're gonna go for an army high capacity gas canister there and a legendary effect is there if we need it if it turns out to suck we're gonna chuck on the irradiated effect I'll see you in Gunners Plaza Righto, so here we are in Gunners Plaza with our M2 something something flamethrower. That's what it looks like in third person, then aiming down sights. And the reload animation is that. It's the submachine gun reload animation, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but there, you've got the canister just below there. And yeah, there's no fingers on triggers, so um, this thing fires just through the power of concentrated will, I suppose. Or maybe Adam did it, who knows. Let's get into shooting some gunners, we'll target the faces because burning their faces does more damage and we can outpace the damage of uh, the gunner regenerating with a stim pack which is uh, a good sign. Let's try to test this thing at range seeing as it's got 94 range on this thing with its muzzle. Seems like we're doing pretty well, can we nail that person from down there? We actually can. A little bit of damage over time too, nothing too much, nothing like the wounding legendary effect but it's there something to help out if they do decide to pop a stim pack. Obviously the squishier gunners will go down a lot quicker compared to the rest of them, but that's okay. Let's just nail this gunner from across the room. There we go. Plenty of range out of this. Definitely performing much better than the flamer right off the bat. And yeah, that's not really saying a lot, but any um, flamethrower weapon that performs better than the flamer is better in my books. It's good in my books because Otherwise, your flame of fuel is a useless ammo type. Okay, so that's a sneak attack critical with a flamethrower, which, sure, why the hell not? And what we're going to do here is going to try to lure out Captain Bridget, and then when we find her, we're going to go for a bat's run on her face. Ah, speaking of the devil. All right, open wide. As you can tell, you get a whole lot of uh, shots with this thing in bats, and it shouldn't have any trouble actually firing in bats, even though it's firing in the stream, because... For one, it's not a heavy weapon, and the heavy weapon seems to have a lot of trouble when getting burst. Okay, I'm just going to back off a little bit because the heat is a little bit too much. Uh, no pun intended. And we're going to peek around the corner and cook people like this. I'm going to get that turret from there. I don't think I can reach him. Okay, I'm backing off a little bit. This is a little bit too much. If I could just nail those turrets, that'd be nice. I'll do it all the way from here. Yep, seems good. They're all punching up over there, so I'll quickly peek the corner. Health is a little bit of a concern at the moment, as it should be. We've been shot like hundreds of times at this point, but that's okay. As you can tell, this thing excels in um, situations where there's crowd control to be um, considered, because it can just spray fire against multiple people at once, and you can get a whole lot of damage off, which I guess you could do with the flamer, but you couldn't do that as nearly as the range as you could with this thing. So, yeah, ticking all the boxes here for damage, for, not for looks though. Unfortunately, there's nothing like a huge backpack for fuel that you can wear as a little um, object. There's backpack slots you can chuck it in, so yeah, that's something you could maybe do if you decide to update this mod with something like that. Don't shoot me with that gun rifle. Oh, you did, you bastard. That's okay, it's irradiated. We've got some of the health back. Anyways, moving around here, we're going to go into third 
person just to see what the flames look like. Now these guys killed they, they killed Matilda last time, so we got we gotta get some revenge on them. Ooh, what weapon have you got there? It seems to be some sort of nasty weapon. Ah, legendary gunners, as tanky as they come, that's okay. Why not we've gone back into nerd rage again, so we'll just cook your face until you drop. Yep, seems to be going pretty good. And then from a range that is uh, well above what the flamer can produce, we can cook that turret from all the way there. So nothing too high in terms of the damage, but it will get you over the line in most vanilla game situations. Obviously, playing on very hard difficulty, I've got that 50% damage penalty already, which is going to hurt the weapon's performance a little bit. So we probably won't test it on monsters, but there's still legendary effects we could chuck on this that would make it better. So yeah, we'll see how that works. Righto, we're fighting in the daylight now because I've received a few complaints that they can't actually see the weapon. So there they are. We've got four different flamethrowers on us, each with different legendary effects. We're going to start off with the wounding here, just to show you how little this weapon really does against big monsters like Swan, and you can't get the sneak attack criticals or anything to work for you. Unfortunately, I made this one only really work in close quarters conditions and whilst we are getting a decent start on his health bar it's not going to be enough to out dps his power even when we bat him it's not going to go great for us is it no it is not that's okay we've got a staggering one at our side and what we can do with this is just perma staggering like the harvester from Far Harbor. That was a very overpowered ripper. And it looks like a few little um, lobsters have gotten involved. So that's nice. That'll help us out with this one as long as I don't piss them off. We've also got the explosive one here for extra damage and infinite range, I suppose. And if you're familiar with how broken the um, explosive flame is in the vanilla game, yeah, it's pretty much the same sort of thing, but in a more compact form and easier to reload. So that'll do a whole lot more in his health, but that's kind of cheap because we're hitting him with pretty much an assault rifle at that point for the explosive legendary effect. Oi, get out of here. Wow, you're a very low level for this place. But anyways, this one's a furious one, and as long as we can keep the damage stacking, we'll do a good job on all this one here. So at this point, I think the fight is good as mine. He's barely done any damage to me. We tanked the rock there, that's okay. And yeah, or we can just stand back and just let his health tick by, doing 15% more damage every time we decide to hit him. Switch back over to this one. Maybe we'll go for this staggering next here. He seems intent on dropping his big old anchor on me, so there's no way I'm not going to keep him not staggered. He also has a really strange um, being staggered sound. Okay, I think we can finish him off in that. So let's see how this works then. Alright, I think this kill is as good as mine. I thought he got knocked over then, but he was just cleaning over because he was staggered. I swear to god, if these stupid lobsters steal my kill, I'm going to be very unhappy. Oh, we didn't stagger him with that burst, which was odd. Oh, we got him. Yes, that was my kill. Now, seeing that I've just killed that giant ass behemoth with this flamethrower, are you gonna attack me? Yes, you are. Stop right there. Stop right there. Yes, it worked. Okay. Follow my orders. You kill. Epic beast battles. Fight. My money's on the green one. Get him. Place your bets now, kids. Because betting is definitely a good idea. I'm done with you. Come on. Get fighting. Don't stop. Come on, green. You can do it. Beat the commie. Beat the red bar. Red, red bar. Then get him. You can do it. Yes. He punched, He pinched him with his giant ass pinch. No, he got staggered. You're being hit in the ass. Quickly, get him. Don't stop fighting. You can do it, man. I know you're beating up your wife or best friend or boyfriend. I don't, I'm not actually sure on... I don't know, do we have any marine biologists in the audience that could tell us what agenda these particular Milex are? Oh, it's almost over for the red, come on! You can do this! You can do it! Man, this is the best thing ever. Maybe I should start like a lobster fighting ring. Maybe that's a cool mod to have in Fallout 4, right? You profit off Milex beating the shit out of each other. Yes, he's done it! And for that, I'm going to let you live. Look at these idle animations. Ah, yes, creature companions. They're fun for what they are. So, 
if you'd like to see this flamethrower in your game. I'm not sure where the links are. I'll ask for permission to throw the link up, and uh, yeah, you'll see it down there if it is. And this is just um, Wasteland Whisperer. This is in the vanilla game. You can do this to anything that is, isn't your level. Ew, look at him. That's a face only a mother would love. So, from me and the Myler Hunter over here, we'd like to thank you all for watching. Would you like to face the camera whilst I do my outro? Also, don't put your weapons away because they will attack you. So, yeah, that's about it for me. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, look out. He's packing some serious heat now.